are in Costa Maya. We are. We are back in Mexico. The ocean is so blue looking out from our balcony. It's just the most, my most favorite color. It's gorgeous <laughs> out there. Maybe that's why you like a balcony, is you get to see the blue ocean. Yeah. Well, I do love a balcony. <laughs> I just don't usually love the price tag that comes with it, but mm -hmm. it's nice to have it. I'm enjoying it this cruise for sure. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go get some breakfast and then we're getting off the ship. Yeah. And we are going on a golf cart ride today. Yes, we're doing our own sort of private off the beating <laughs> path excursion. We've booked a golf cart rental with a private company and we're going to go explore Costa Maya on our own. Yeah, we're going to do our own version of exploring. This time we've got wheels to do it, so it should be fun. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking forward to it. It's okay. good. It should be a good day. Let's get some breakfast and see how good we can drive golf carts. Yeah. <laughs> to find some breakfast food. <laughs> Today is polka dots. Blue, white polka dots. Mm -hmm. I am having a bad hair day. You don't hear me say that much, do you? <laughs> it's very frizzy today. I don't know if it's the humidity or what I've been eating. Anyways, off we go down the stairs. Try not to fall. Soon we'll be in the dining room. I believe it's the Estella dining room. Deck six. Midship. That's what I like about Princess Cruises. I like these dining rooms that are midship and smaller dining rooms with nice configurations of different table sizes and placements. You can always kind of find a nice cozy spot. So off we go. There are a couple of glass elevators here and there on this ship. That's one of them. And there is fine art. They're in there already. Searching for people to eat with. Okay, Refus has arrived. I'm having the veggie omelet this morning. And you're having? I am having the special of the day, which is blueberry pancakes with whipped butter. Looks good. Up we go to Costa Maya. Maybe. All right, we're good to go. Oh, there's some chips in here today with that. Oh, wow. Look we are that. getting off. <laughs> Okay, so our golf carts are here at the port area, just outside the security area, from what we can tell from the instructions. And we're gonna head down the coast there towards that lighthouse is the plan. So we'll follow along, see if we actually make it. The reservations, you don't have to put a deposit down, down but you have to be there within two and a half hours of the ship's arrival. And we're getting close to that time because we are here a little bit early. So let's hope there's golf carts waiting for us. Otherwise, this will be a day of watching us get hike to that lighthouse. <laughs> well, let's hope not. I will sit right here, this beach, and I will stay back. We have just checked in with the golf cart rental. We're going to get our carts for the day. And just make sure they have your name on the reservation. There are some companies that try to kind of persuade you to uh, you go to their company instead, but we found the right one. Follow all the Red Avenue to the end. Then you make a left, then you make a right. So. Make sure when you enter the, the beach club, see the name that you see in the yellow boxes. And take care of the guys with orange shirt. They take you to all the beach clubs. And at the end, they charge you a lot of money and people come back to complain about that. So, okay, your two okay. cars are right there. Thank you. We going? We going. You ready? Uh, we go. So here we are, there's all kinds of taxis just outside the port if you want to get a taxi and go on that route. But here we are and we're coming up to the first little stop. checking things Where out. Going We're going to go le left at the end of the street. We're about to turn left now to go into the no. town. All right. Let's see. This looks like a pretty major road. Whoa. Right? We're on the 401 now. Ah, let's go. Give us some gas. Here we go. 
40 kilometer speed limit. See how fast we can go. down this road far enough that we have run out of stores and bars and restaurants and we're on a rocky very seaweedy beach and a lot of garbage actually floating in from the ocean a little bit disturbing it's it's unfortunate I'm not sure how much is local and how much of it is uh, garbage that's in the ocean that washes up on the beach here but uh, yeah there's a lot of it but I used to build and maintain golf courses. So my life used to be on a golf cart just about every single day of the year riding around and uh, yeah so it's been uh, almost a decade since I've rode a golf cart and now I kind of miss it. Maybe I need to go back to building golf courses again. Yeah we've driven all the way through town all the way out and I think we're gonna probably turn around now because the road's getting a little rough and they had a, a rainstorm last night that's washed out in parts so but we're heading back. I think we've got all we can get out of this road at this point. Yeah. Come to the end of the road. End of the road, it's a little quieter, less people trying to sell you stuff, less taxis, and yeah. you can just kind of take in the ocean, and the beach isn't really swimmable. No. Not even close. Lots and lots and lots of seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful day here, nice, sunny, hot, but a good breeze so you're not overheated. Can you see the road behind us? It's bumpy. Bumpity bump bump bumpity bump bump. And there's the Sky Princess. So in with us today was the Royal Caribbean Oasis of the Seas, I believe it was. No, Allure of the Seas is oh, in. Allure. Sorry. Allure of the Seas is in with us and Rock. Also was the Carnival Vista again. You seem to be following the Carnival no, Vista. No, I thought it was the Pride. Oh, it was the Pride. You're right. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm Oasis losing of the Seas this. and the Vista are in. Yeah. One thing about the golf carts, keep in mind, plan your bathroom breaks. A lot of places you have to buy something to use a bathroom. We haven't found a public washroom yet. No. So keep that in mind if you're going a long ways in the cart. Mm -hmm. Either that or you're going in the jungle. <laughs> well, you had to know for sure that Mrs. Canuck was going to have to find somewhere to go shopping. So here we are. Little Mexican place on the side of the road. Mexican snacks. Chorizo flavored Cheetos. Now that's a first. I've never seen that before. This thing's gorgeous right here. God, I would hate to know what it costs. I don't even know if it's for sale. So check this out. That is incredible. How you doing, dude? I almost can't see you. Where you going, dude? I see you. Live lizard coverage right here. Poor guy. He's like, what do these people want from me? 
Well, we're in the very busy port of Costa Maya, but look at the gorgeous flamingos behind us. Flamingos. They're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Busy day here with three ports in, or three uh, ships in, but we're enjoying watching these beautiful creatures. It is insane here today. We have three ships in, in case, and uh, one of those is the Allure of the Seas, which probably has as many as the Pride and the Sky Princess combined. But uh, yeah, it is nuts. I've never seen Costa Maya like this. It is, uh, you can't even get in the stores. That was crazy. We are done with Costa Maya. We are. Probably the busiest we've ever port seen. shopping we've ever been a part of. It was really weird. shoulder to shoulder. I'm sure we've been here with three ships before, but I've never seen that. Yeah, before. we've never seen it, but we are with one of the biggest ships with Royal Caribbean Park, so there's yeah. a lot more people on that ship. Royal Caribbean, so tone big. down the size of your ships. Mm -hmm. Lots of people here, for sure. That's a little train that goes by. I didn't realize they had a train down here. Oh, yeah. They do. There's the train. Back to the ship. Probably a cold drink, some lunch, and a pool in our future. Yes. We are back on the Sky Princess with our sunglasses on. Okay. And we are about to drop some stuff off, find some lunch, find a pool, find a drink, find some bikinis with high heels. Yeah. Wish me luck. <laughs> what are you saying over there about this? That's a good plan. <laughs> For lunch today, I'm trying the pulled pork sandwich. I think it's called something Carolina barbecue. Yeah, South Carolina barbecue pulled okay. pork. And this one is? I'm having the grilled chicken sandwich with some fries. Anyway. I wasn't a fan of the chicken sandwich, so I went and got a burger. And I have to say, the salty dog. Burger. Very good, guys. So we're just enjoying a little pool time in the retreat pool. But what we've noticed is every day this pool gets a little bit busier as more people find it. It's a pretty quiet spot the first few days of the cruise, but by day five, everybody's figured it out. So it's getting a little busy here as everybody gets it back on board from Costa Maya. But it's a beautiful spot. It's nice and shallow, a good place just to hang out and visit with people. Good evening. Good evening. It is White and gold uh, night. <laughs> in our mind it is, but it isn't. It's formal <laughs> night, but we thought it was a formal night for white and gold night. So we're just wearing our white and gold tonight. Yeah, we're dressed inappropriately, but appropriately. Right. <laughs> Maybe the wrong color schemes, but at least we're dressed for a gala night. So we're heading out for pre-dinner drinks. Mm -hmm. We have a special dinner tonight, mm -hmm. thanks to Princess. So we're given a chance to try the Crown Grill. Yeah, we haven't tr done that before. We haven't tried their their specialty steakhouse, so we're looking forward to that. I might have to eat red meat from what I saw on the menu, but we'll figure that out when we get there, that's for sure. You all know Mr. Connect's not a huge fan of red meat, unless it's in the form of meatloaf. Mm, uh -huh. Maybe they'll make me a meatloaf tonight. Uh. Oh, so relaxing afternoon around the pool after we were back from Costa Maya. It was. A little yeah. bit of noise pollution. Depends how you take it. Yeah. Yeah, we, we uh, yeah, we, you, you saw on our Instagram page, if you follow it, uh, and our YouTube community page, we threw it there. What's your opinion of people with portable speakers? Like, there you go. We have we one. We have one. Are we one of those people? <laughs> we only ever use it in our cabin when yes. we're maybe getting ready to go out for dinner or something like that. But, um... Yeah, so but some never people brought it poolside. And we saw, we heard stories of three people in the main pool having different ones going, and two people at the retreat pool. It's supposed to be nice and quiet, reading and doing that type of thing. All I can say is, you know, part of me says to each its own if you keep things quiet and not bother others. But when I put on my headset to listen to an audiobook and I can't hear the audiobook because the speaker is so loud, that I think it's, it's too, loud too loud at that point. But yeah. yeah, so I'm curious to see what you, you folks think. So yeah, I, I couldn't read my book because that's all I could hear was the music. I felt like I was trying to read in a dance club yeah. at, at not, a bit. Not that we don't like music. You've seen us. We're we watching. We love music. <laughs> we love music. But when we want to relax and read, then yeah, that's a different time. But mm -hmm. anyways, uh, we're going to go and get that drink and we'll show you what it's like to have some Crown Grill tonight. All right, let's do this. It's a lot of work being me getting to look like this. Mrs. Canuck has no idea how easy she has it as a girl. No idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> they quietly shut the door. Our door actually doesn't shut quietly. There's something jammed there and you have to kind of give it a tug. So anyways, off we go. I see a tux in front of me. So formal night has started. You have not seen Mrs. Canuck's dress. She has a white sparkly full length dress with gold colored high heels. I must have got it right because she didn't correct me. 
clear the good spirits bar. Didn't film any of our drinks. We're on our way to the Crown Grill now, but we are bad. Our reservation time seemed to have changed today in the app. So we had six o'clock, we thought, but now it's saying 5.40 in the app. So we're 10 minutes late and we're heading to have some steak. Guess who doesn't eat steak? Grill, a lot of meat on this. Some chops and some steaks and some sides. Might be a night of sides. There you've got my Riesling and some Prosecco hiding in behind it. Mm -hmm. And they have brought out some bread. Garlic bread, they said. Mm -hmm. Garlic mm -hmm. bun. And I tried to order some stuff on the menu, so we'll see what happens. No red meat, but I found an alternative. Okay, my second appetizer has arrived. It is the black and blue onion soup. Mm, so I went with the surf and turf. It looks delicious. Can't wait to dig into this. And I am having the sea bass with some prawns. So we'll see. Mrs. Canuck might eat some of this. And Mrs. Canuck surf and turf, by the way, that is, there is a $10 surcharge on top of the regular charge for the dining to have the surf and turf. So I am totally stuffed from having a marvelous meal at the Crown Grill, but they're telling me I have to save room for dessert. I wonder what I should get. What would you have? My options are apple and rhubarb crumbler, key lime pie bar, salted caramel creme brulee cheesecake, triple chocolate treasure, and the last one is the warm chocolate mousse trifle, cinnamon and ginger. Hmm. What shall I get? So dessert is the triple chocolate delight, I believe it's called. And mine is the um, caramel creme brulee cheesecake. Yeah. Back at the cabin, and we have a towel animal. Let Mrs. Canuck guess what it is. What is it? <laughs> no, it looks like a dog. Let's call it a dog. Mm -hmm. But we're here for a reason, and I'll tell you what it is in a bit. <laughs> okay. So I might have done it again. Might have. <laughs> Wonder what I did. Might have, guys. You just might have. I might have lost my medallion again. This is two cruises in a row where it went missing. Yeah. And you know, everybody's made fun of me because I am always carrying his medallion, but when I let him have it, this is what happens. <laughs> I came back to the cabin by myself this afternoon and I somehow lost it when I came back. In the cabin. Yes, and so if your medallion's in the room and you're not, your cabin steward doesn't know this. So he wasn't able to come in and do our room up tonight because he thought that I was in here. Mm -hmm. But we found it. The crisis averted. We were able to search for it. We knew the square footage and we found it. We did. And now we can go out and enjoy the rest of the night and I don't have to be mooching off the blue medallion. <laughs> I don't have a blue one, I have a gold one. Oh, you have a gold medallion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. For some reason, I'm not allowed to carry my medallion now today. Mm -hmm. This happened before on the Caribbean Princess. Hopefully, by the time we do our group cruise in a year from now, I'll be allowed to carry it on the Enchanted Princess. <laughs> You need to come up with a better way to carry it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you better start thinking about getting a watch band for it. We are on take five. the cabin. 
So many things to say. Will I stay awake long enough to say them? All her glitter and sparkles. What happened? There's paper on my floor. There's more paper. Mail non-stop. Glitter girl. My dress is sh uh, shedding glitter. I have it all over my arms and a little bit on my face. Hmm. Oh, I see some on your face. You've got some up here. <laughs> a little bit of glitter. A little glitter. We're all covered in glitter. Your glitter in your forehead too. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, it is bedtime. Yeah. I'm gonna have to compose a best of for the cruise industry. And if I do so, Princess is gonna get a bunch of them, I think. Hmm. Yeah. We've been very, very impressed there's, with our week here. There's been some odd things and mm -hmm. there's been some amazing things, mm -hmm. but nothing bad. No. Yeah, so, no. and uh, tonight, oh, where do you even start? Uh, did good spirits again. And uh, what do we do after that? Dinner? Oh, Crown House. Crown House? Crown, Crown Grill. Grill. Yes. Crown Grill, the steakhouse. Yes. Yeah. And had a nice quiet dinner for two. First we've had this whole trip because we have so many people here with us. Yeah. So we so did that. Was and nice. how was your red meat and seafood? It was delicious. I had surf and turf. The filet mignon was delicious. The lobster was cooked just properly. Sometimes you can get it a little overcooked. It was just to perfection. Had a wonderful meal um, for dessert. If you go there, you gotta try the uh, caramel creme brulee cheesecake. Loved it. Huge portion. Couldn't eat it all, but it was delicious. I had the largemouth sea bass. <laughs> There's no such a thing. No. No? Oh, I was waiting for you to call me on it. I was like, what? <laughs> largemouth bass say? is a freshwater bass, mm -hmm. but I'm sure the sea bass is a different bass. But that's what I had with some shrimp prawn thing majiggies that I know nothing about seafood so they um, went o they went over to Mrs. Canuck's plate. Yeah. It was only two of them. So yep, it wasn't like it was too much. I had a chocolate dessert that was really good, but I was getting pretty full by then, so it was hard to enjoy it completely. Mm -hmm. But it was delicious. Yeah, so much food for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we moved on somewhere from we there. We went to the Take Five Lounge. Take Five Lounge, yeah, we took in some jazz. We did. Yes, we were. And I tried some of their special cocktails and I really enjoyed the Night at the Apollo. That was what I tried and it was very nice. Mm -hmm. So we did that. Yeah, just watch people in a jazz club. It was kind of funny. Mm -hmm. And then we went and did a little live music. I don't think we got any filming of that. We went to the Vista Lounge and danced, so it's hard to film while we're dancing. Yeah. But we did that before we went to the main stage show. And off to the theater. That was the showstopper. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, I would say, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was the best show I've ever saw any cruise ship in 34 cruises. Wow. I think it was the really? absolute best. And we've done the Royal Caribbean, and I think those are good because some of them are Broadway productions, so mm -hmm. it's hard to miss mm -hmm. when you've got good material. Right. This was create it for the Sky Princess. It's a show just being performed on yeah. this ship. We couldn't film any in Shoya, which is a shame. I wish Princess would just let us, because I think if people saw this show, they'd be booking and coming and watching this, because it was something uh, else. So The singers were amazing, but the storyline, the Decker, the, um, the, the background the, the set, scenes. The, the technology and the lighting and the and sound. the costumes were costumes were like something you'd see on Broadway for sure. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was remarkable. I, I can't say enough good about it that, you know, I would easily go see it again. Yeah, I would too. And I think if I couldn't decide between two ships and this was one of the shows on one of the ships, I might tip the balance to book a ship. Wow, really? Yeah, like it was really good. Yeah. Yeah. It really makes me want to see all the princess shows. It really makes me upset that I missed the rock opera because I think it likely would have been good too. Yeah, we've heard that it's phenomenal. Because we had Bravo. Bravo's probably number two. Yeah. This one was number one for me. So that's the top two shows I've ever oh. seen have been Princess Cruise Productions. Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love Bravo too. Yeah. You're right. That's true. So yeah, and uh, and we're talking about best ofs. You know, we're gonna, I'm gonna try the burger tomorrow. I had a taste of Mrs. Canuck's burger today, and I was really impressed. Really impressed. With From the you. one bite I had, I think it's already past Guy's Burgers. Mm. The question is, is it gonna be diving? Food is so subjective yep. because somebody that's traveling with us was with us in Europe, and you know they had a burger here, and they said they prefer the Guy's Burger. So you know, again, when you tell when we tell you about food, it's what we like, and it might not necessarily be what you like but yeah. we are definitely enjoying our experience our food has been great the service has been great 
And then we had it across the ship after that. We tried to get the Love of Marriage show. And we thought the same thing of this as the Caribbean Princess. The venue is too small for that show. Too small, standing room only. Princess needs to move it to the main theater and more people can enjoy it because a lot of people want to see that. So that was a little bit disappointing again that we couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. This time we couldn't have the option to go up and dance to ABBA, so we went back to the Vista Lounge. Yeah, and we just listened to some music. There yep. was people dancing, but we just visited it with some family. So you saw bits and pieces and that they didn't film any of the live princess live because there's like so many people so i couldn't film that oh, yeah we've already got our luggage tags so that's mm -hmm. kind of sad they can't yeah. everybody not just us were saying it they seem like they're a day early with the luggage yeah. tag so. yeah luggage mm -hmm. tags came this morning like before we even left the room in the morning we woke yeah. up and we're getting dressed and all of a sudden i heard something coming under the door and it was a letter with our luggage tags at like 7.30 in the morning. Number three. Mm. Princess, I think you're better than number three in the cruise industry, so mm. give yourself more credit. You're better than third. <laughs> so, we're calling it a night. We are. Suits coming off. Mm -hmm. I was probably the only one with a gold tie in the entire ship, so I <laughs> stood out. And That's not true, actually. I did see mm -hmm. some other people that were dressed formal in white and gold, mm -hmm. so we weren't the only ones, but we were definitely uh, in the minority, <laughs> for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good night. Have a good sleep, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.